Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and in today's video we're going to be discussing the brand new iPhone 7 and 7 Plus exclusive iOS 10.0.3 firmware. Now there's going to be a lot of misconception and a lot of misinformation floating around regarding iOS 10.0.3 and jailbreaking. In today's video we're not only going to go over jailbreaking and how the firmware may impact the release of the next jailbreak utility, but also what features it offers. So be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and share it around to inform other individuals who are curious about jailbreaking, specifically iOS 10.0.x up to 10.1, the upcoming release that's still in beta from Apple. Because guys, believe it or not, the information in today's video is incredibly important. And as indicated by the title of this video, this is a status update only. So no, a new jailbreak has not yet been released. To be notified the very second one is just be sure to click the subscribe button below next to my channel name if you have yet to. Now let's get straight into this. This. iOS 10.0.3 is a rather interesting release in that it is exclusive to the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So let's go ahead and launch up Safari and get into this. Now, when we go to Apple's developer portal again, which is exclusive to Apple developers, and we log in and scroll down to the bottom beneath where the beta releases are, we have what's classified as the release software section. And for iOS, we have 10.0.2 listed as being the latest version, even for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, though that should be updated shortly. Shortly. But again, guys, 10.0.2 is the latest release for all non-iPhone 7 and 7 Plus devices, and we can confirm that on this iPhone 6 Plus here, just launching up Settings, General, and then Software Update, you'll notice that when it checks, it pulls back an available update for iOS 10.0.2, of course not iOS 10.0.3. And one last thing that we can use to kind of corroborate that is IPSW.me. Now this connects directly to Apple's servers to pull back the latest IPSWs or firmware files for specific devices. So when we go ahead and tap on iPhone, for instance, for the first step and then select iPhone 7 Plus, you will notice that it does come back with iOS 10.0.3. You can see right there it was seeded on today's date or issued on today's date, October 17th, 2016. Getting a close up of that just so you guys can see. But when we go ahead and go back to the second step to select an iPhone and select a non iPhone 7 or 7 Plus model, for instance, the iPhone SE, it comes back with iOS 10.0.2 as being the latest release. We do not have 10.0.3 anywhere on here. Of course, the only other iteration of iOS 10 being just 10.0.1. So this release is exclusive to the latest iPhones. And at this point, you're undoubtedly wondering why did Apple release one firmware just for two different devices? Now that's a great question and there's a relatively simple answer. See, select owners of the 7 and 7 Plus start Started noticing that they had severe LTE connectivity issues with their brand new devices, specifically owners with Verizon as their carrier of choice, though other iPhones through different carriers were also experiencing select connectivity issues, again, when trying to connect to their carrier's LTE data network. So iOS 10.0.3 fixes that. That's it, there are no other changes to iOS 10.0.3 and no other outward facing changes whatsoever that the end user will notice. So if you have an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 7 Plus, you can upgrade to iOS 10.0.3 knowing full well that you will be included when the next jailbreak is released. Speaking of which, we're gonna go ahead and just transition straight into how this may impact jailbreaking. I'm going to tell you guys, it's not going to hinder the release of the next jailbreak in any way, shape or form. There are no security fixes that 10.0.3 0.3 features over its predecessor being iOS 10.0.2. Now we are still expecting Pangu to release a jailbreak after iOS 10.1 drops. Nothing has changed there. And again, guys, today's release comes well before iOS 10.1. We don't know when 10.1 is going to be released to the public, but we do know that its only real feature thus far is just the portrait camera mode on the iPhone 7 Plus models, being that new camera mode that takes advantage of the dual camera on the iPhone 7 Plus to essentially make some really awesome photos with the subject in focus and the background blurred at varying levels of blur. It's a really cool effect. If you haven't seen it demoed yet, check out my latest 10.1 video. I have it linked in your cards right now. But anyway, as for jailbreaking, Pangu is undoubtedly waiting for that firmware to be released since it offers something so huge for the iPhone 7 Plus, something that should have been added and should have been available when the device launched. And that's why Apple's going to make a huge push 
push with iOS 10.1. It should hopefully be out soon. I'm going to keep you guys completely notified anytime we know anything related to iOS 10.1 and or jailbreaking for that matter. Also, if you have yet to watch through my jailbreak update playlist for iOS 10 through 10.1, definitely check that out. I will have that linked down below in your descriptions right now, as well as in your cards, because I go into great detail as to what we can expect from the realm of jailbreaking. Though, just for a quick ETA, again, since we are waiting on iOS 10.1's release and the next jailbreak definitely seems to be contingent upon 10.1 at this point, we could expect a jailbreak as early as the end of this month or sometime in November. Again, we really just don't know. But provided Pangu does inevitably target iOS 10.1, new jailbreaks in the past have been issued approximately one week following the release of the firmware that jailbreak developers intended to target. So provided nothing changes in the realm of jailbreaking, we could expect a jailbreak relatively soon. Though just remember the situation is always dynamic, never static, meaning anything that Apple does influences jailbreaking one way or another. Though like iOS 10.0.3, sometimes it's relatively minor. Hopefully again, we do not receive another beta firmware after iOS 10.1 drops or rather another substantial beta firmware and we'll just receive a brand new iOS 10 jailbreak soon. Hopefully things are smooth. I'll keep you fully covered again. Just be sure to click the subscribe button below if you have yet to and then also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter for even more frequent updates. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.